Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's been some time since I did my live stream showing the NVIDIA CMP HX 50s mining hash rate or performance. Now, there's a lot of thoughts about this GPU, whether or not one should get it and stuff like that. Um, has NVIDIA been successful in deterring miners from buying their mainstream GPUs so that way it could go to gamers? I, I have a different video on that. If you want to check that out, definitely do. But the summary of this performance is as follows. So Red Panda Mining allowed me the capability to test and tune this GPU, get some power numbers, some hash rate, and I put it all nice and neat as I normally do in a Reddit post. Of course, I advised him to back up the BIOS that he has, uh, but I was able to find one on Tech Power Up's vBIOS database. So the hash rate and information that I have for you, it's basically, it's like a 3070, a little bit lesser of a 3070, and then kind of like a 2080 Ti, depending on the algorithm, right? So the best I could get during my stream was about 56, almost 57 mega hash. Uh, but when I pushed the memory too high, I crashed the system. And because I was remoted in, I didn't want to keep doing that. So you can see I stopped. But if you physically have the GPU on hand or on your physical premise, you might be able to push it 1200 mem and get a little bit better hash rate. So it's very close to a 3070 in that regard. Uh, 56, almost 57 mega hash, 160 watts or thereabouts. Obviously, uh, taking away the core and adding some mem or adding more mem seems to be the sweet spot for not only Ethereum, but Ethereum Classic. Uh, but each GPU is different right so ethereum classic uh able to get 56.2 mega hash 145 watts uh, i dropped the tdp instead of the 70 from 70 to 63 and dizzy miner actually mentioned that with these 3000 series type gpus um you can actually get it down to 63 62 65 and get that that fine tune efficiency performance per watt type deal so just know if you're going to be at 70 70 percent power limit you're going to be around 165 watts if you get a little bit lower but increase your hash rate in some form or fashion uh that's going to be your best bang for buck now on raven coin uh we were able to get 26 around 26 mega hash um around 140 watts at 60 percent power limit or 165 watts at 70 percent power limit now feral pal is a prog pal variant but they're pretty much the same so you're going to get close to the same hash rate you would on raven coin uh that you would on feral pal but it you know, 30.86 mega hash at 230 watts, which is stock power limit. Uh, for G minor flux, uh, I found out during the live stream, um, many of the community, especially my buddy Max Voltage, said that Mini Z was better. But you can see here, I got 60.2 souls at stock TDP, 225 watts, whereas on Mini Z, I got 67.6 souls uh, with stock everything. Uh, the best that I found was 62.4 souls, throwing a little bit of core, 150, throwing some mem at it. 70%, 165 watts. Now, Ergo, uh, a coin that um, has, I think, kind of fallen from where it used to be as far as socially among the, the crypto mining community. But it's 109, about 110 souls at 165 watts. Again, 70% power limit, uh, 150 core, 1,000 mem. Crypto Dredge was the only miner I could get that actually allowed us to work on crypto that gpu algorithm or you know rio conceal equal libra because i think xmr stack would not work with this gpu um, as other miners didn't work now there may be new updates that allow the miner to work on the cmp hx50 uh, but this is just the data that i have for my testing it may be updated feel free if you have that data to go to this reddit post and add your own information but i got 100 uh, 1,772 hashes at 165 watts again, 150 core, 1,000 mem. And then for Octopus or Conflux, I got 52.28 mega hash at 165 watts. Um, MB Miner actually showed decreased performance over T-Rex Miner, so pick and choose your battle there. Uh, for Kaku Cycle, which was the only miner that I could get working was MB Miner, I got about 9.2 hashes at 165 watts again 150 core thousand mem uh beam hash three i got 35.24 mega hash or hashes excuse me um at another 65 watts 70 percent and then cortex 3.96 hashes 165 watts aeon 347 at 165 watts um, again some algorithms are more core intensive and throwing too much memory can 
show diminishing returns. So you just got to find that balance. G minor uh, on Z hash was 110 souls uh, stock, 235 watts. So I didn't really do too much testing. Now, LOL minor at the time, 1.42, which obviously has been updated by them, but I don't have the card. Uh, Tongue coin failed, flux failed, Kaku cycle failed. Now, they may have released a new version that allows you to mine with the CMP 50HX or HX50, whichever it goes. But this is the data that I have. I also included some pictures of awesome miner performance uh, at stock clocks, various algorithms, stuff like that, just to compare against the actual data that I show here. But, you know, really this card, is it worth something, is it, is it worth getting? In, in my personal opinion, the answer is no, but some people may think otherwise. Well, first off, it doesn't have any IO. So it doesn't have any HDMI, it doesn't have any display port that, that automatically kills the resale value. Um, the temperatures were fine. The temperatures were actually really fine. And I got some pictures here. Let me go ahead and pull it up. The design of the card isn't bad, right? So it's a, a basic dual fan. Uh, it's got dual 8-pin. It's got a decent beefy heat sink. I think the ambient air temperature where it was at was 78 uh, Fahrenheit. But the GPU sustained anywhere between 55 to 60 Celsius, depending on, on you know what algorithm. Now, there's no backplate. But there is something that's very interesting to me. There's NVLink fingers. I'm not sure if it's connected to anything. And I haven't heard of anybody trying to connect multiple ones, uh, multiple GPUs, mo multiple CMP GPUs together with NVLink to see if it does anything. And I don't think it does. Uh, I think it's just a used PCB. They put the chip lead on it and then they sold it to the highest bidder. Um, and it's really just NVIDIA's way of, of creating a new revenue stream that they can recoup some money on you know these different GPUs, right? It comes with 10 gigs of GDR6. It has a, a 320-bit bus. So it's, it's an okay card. Would I get it? No. I'd rather get a 3060 or 3070, um, but it's really going to be up to you to make the best decision on your setup. Those are the numbers. That's the summary of the information. If you want to hear my thoughts on whether or not NVIDIA really succeeded in, in using the CMP lineup, to stop miners from buying the mainstream GPUs. You can check out my thoughts on that video. If I haven't posted it yet, um, stay tuned. If I post it, I'll put it in the description. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I appreciate every single one of you, your time, your effort, and you all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.